Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd back with episode eight of our Marshall University Dynasty. This week, the four and two Marshall Thunder Herd are going to be taking on the two and five Middle Tennessee State University Blue Raiders. Um, we're looking to come back after a 31 to 20 win against FAU last week and keep this winning streak alive. Our offense has been kind of struggling as of late. However, the rock of our team has been Kevin Grooms. He's still been consistently scoring touchdowns. Raheem Cato has been struggling with 12 interceptions up to this point of the season. So let's get straight into this game. Um, second play for scrimmage, MTSU, they have the ball. Um, Grammar gets the ball. He hands the ball off to Parker, and he runs the ball. And he's, after he trucks somebody, he goes down for about a nine-yard run and a first down. Later on in the drive, second and ten. Grammar, he drives back, he looks, he throws the ball to Parker, and he makes a man miss, and he keeps going down after a nine-yard run. And they're brought down to the 46-yard line, but Jordan Parker does get hurt on the play. Later on in the drive, Grammar, he drives back, he throws the ball to William Wilson for a six-yard gain in an MTSU first down. Now second and ten to go with a screen, and Bryson gets tackled up for a negative three-yard gain. Marshall does force the third and the 13. They're trying to get off the field, hold them to no points. Graham, he throws the ball deep, and it is a touchdown to Reggie Watley, 31-yard touchdown reception. And that puts your Blue Raiders up 7 to nothing in the first quarter of the game. But Marshall's first possession, Rakeem Kettle goes off the play fake. He tries to throw the ball to Gene Lewis, and he gets picked off by Craig Allen. He makes a man miss. He has some daylight, and he gets in there for a touchdown. As MTSU takes an early 14 to nothing lead at home against Marshall. <laughs> now in the second possession off the uh, interception, we come back, we push the ball to Kevin Groves, and he has room to run. He makes a man miss, and he is going to run down to the 30, the 20, and he is brought down and around the 19-yard line. But that was a gain of 51, and that brings the Marshall Thundering Herd in the red zone with the chance to score a touchdown. Or at least get some type of points. Right now, Cato, he's going off the play fake, and he runs for a first down as he goes out of bounds at about the six-yard line. A gain of 12 by Cato. Now second to go later in the drive. They hand the ball to Kevin Grooms, and that is an easy touchdown. Number 13 on the season as he is inching closer and closer to the all-time um, touchdown rushing record from Marshall, which is held by Chris Parker with 23 so far. So he's getting closer to that. That feet, and I, I feel like he, he'll get it at some point during the season, as much as he's been scoring touchdowns. No matter how bad we do, he's pretty much been a guaranteed touchdown all season. Right here was just another first down by the Blue Raiders as they're trying to continue a drive and take a 21 to 7 lead. They hand the ball to Jeremiah Bryson, and he just powers his way to a 10 yard first down for the Blue Raiders. They hand it right back to Bryson and once again just powering his way this time for a gain of nine yards. They do end up converting on the first down. This is later on in the drive. Second and eight. Austin Grammer, he drops back. He throws the ball deep and he overthrows everybody on the play. Well, nobody was even close. Now third and eight. We're trying to get off the field. Austin Grammer, he drops back. He drops back. He has time and he sees a receiver but he overthrows him in the end zone again. Back to back overthrows. And now Cannon Rooker for the long field goal. I don't know why the computer always attempts these field goals. Just like that. They just don't have the leg for it. But I'll take it. Hey, it's an easy possession for me. For Keem Kato, he rolls out and he throws the ball to Demetrius Evans, who makes a great sideline catch. Going right, right back to the QB read. And here he goes. Kato, he is going to run. And he is brought down, but not after he gets a first down and a nice run. For the Thunder and her. Right now, Cato drops back. He's looking, look, but he gets sacked. Brought down. Seven yard loss on the game, which causes a now third and 17. We're going for a verse. He throws the ball, and it is underthrown completely. And that is picked off by the Blue Raiders. He makes a man miss. Cato misses the tackle, and he is brought down by Demetrius Evans. Now third and 10. For the Blue Raiders, they're trying to capitalize off the turnover. They throw the ball to Grisewood, and he gets the first down. Kyle Grisewood, 12-yard gain on the play. As we wind down the first quarter, the Blue Raiders, they go with a QB read, and he is running, and he goes down for a nine-yard run on the play, which will force 
Second and inches after a stop. Third and inches now. They get the ball to Jeremiah Brace, and he's brought down. Four two-yard lo two loss, which forces them to punt the ball. Now second and inches for the Marshall Thunder and Herbert trying to make something happen. We pitched the ball to Kevin Grooms once again, and he has some room to run, and he gets tackled at about the 26-yard line. We go back to our wishbone offense, and Cato goes down to about the 20-yard line and gain the six on the play. That wishbone has been money for us. Our air attack has been kind of bad as of late, but our rushing game has been very good. It's been holding us down. That's right there, Kevin Grooms, a nice determined seven-yard run. He gets for he runs for a first down for the Thunder and Herd. We do, however, get stopped, so we do attempt the field goal by Justin Hagen. That does we do convert and we do close the lead to 14 to 10. After they do nothing but that, we come back on offense. And right here, you see me pitching the ball to Watson, and he is going to run, and he is brought down at about the 13-yard line. But then after a gain of 51 yards. Put us in prime position to get some more points on the board. Cato, he wonderful read, and he goes down to about the one-yard line. He lowered the shoulder. He tried to just bully his way in the end zone. He did get stopped short, but we in prime position. The very next play, they get the ball to who else? Kevin Grooms, as he powers his way into the end zone. Second touchdown of the game, number 14 on the season. As Kevin Grooms has been having a great season so far. Austin Grammer right now, he drops back. He throws the ball, but what a... What a play by the Thunder and her batting the ball down. Um, they end up not doing anything with that drive as Rakeem Kato takes back over and he throws a pick this time to Kari Burke, the cornerback, and he is brought down at about the 27 yard line. But that is the third interception of the first half for Marshall. Gives MTSU great field position as the, right now they're just trying to capitalize and look at that truck. Man, these little man just is shoving us off of him. They give it right back to Jeremiah Bryson, and he gets tackled short as he does not get in, which forces a third and goal. They hand it right back to him, and this time the lane was just right there. We're just some poor sports is why we're tackling him in the end zone, which. <laughs> but they do get in the end zone and take a 21 to 17 lead. Kato was trying to make something happen before the end of the half as he throws the ball. Angelo Gene Lewis, and he is down after a 23 yard game. 47 yard line. We're trying to make something happen, get some type of points before halftime. As Cato, he drives back, he rolls to the left, and he sits set and he fumbles the ball. It is picked up by a defensive tackle for the Blue Raiders, and that is the fourth turnover on Rakeem Cato this half. As you see, Coach Lloyd just <laughs> looking at him. What are you doing, man? We need you to hold on to the ball. Right now, right before, uh, right before in the half, MTSU, they're trying to make something. And they're trying to also score a touchdown to come away with at least a field goal. Austin Grammer, he throws the ball deep. But nope, it is picked off by safety DJ Hunter. And that will end the half. Once again, something that's been killing us. Our passing attack has not been there. Our rushing game has been holding us down. But four turnovers, we, we're not going to win many games. I mean, so far, we've just been getting lucky with our games, but we've just been turnover machine. And that's something that, you know, we've been trying to really look forward to. Hopefully, recruiting, we get a couple players or at least another quarterback at this point. I don't have any other quarterback to really replace Kato, so he's been the man. But this is the opening kickoff of the next drive. We do muff the kickoff, but look at Daryl Roberts. He making something out of nothing as he does go for a 45-yard return, bring it down to the 45-yard line. We come out on wishbone on second and seven. Cato goes. He pitches the ball to Kevin Grooms, and he gets, goes to the 30-yard line. But what a run. That wishbone has been doing great for us. At this point, you see Kevin Grooms seven carries for 112 yards, and we just started in the second half, fellas. Right now, second and eight with King Cato. He goes out. He pitches the ball to Kevin Grooms, and Kevin Grooms, he does make – a block and he goes down to about the eight yard line. First and goal, Thunder and Herd. Very next play, they hand it off to Remy Watson. He goes down for a two yard loss. Now, second to go, they go right back to this wishbone. He pitches it to Remy Watson and he gets in for Thunder and Herd touchdown, which will, will take the lead 24 to 21 for the Thunder and Herd with four minutes to go in the third quarter. Austin Grammer, he goes with his QB read, and he breaks one tackle. He breaks another one, and he finally gets brought down. He does get forward progress, which is why he only loses four yards, but that was still a determined run by Austin Grammer. Right here, they dump the ball off to Jeremiah Bryson. He breaks a tackle, and he gets 
tackle one yard short, which forces a third and one. They hand the ball off to him the very next play, and he runs for a nice game, a 13, and a first down for the Blue Raiders. They come back right, keeping the ball on the ground, and Austin Grammer this time with the six-yard run. The very next play, they give right back to this ground attack, and Jeremiah Bryson, he's just in the zone right now, a 13-yard run. They've just been breaking off runs. Here they go again. This time to another um, running back, Shane Tucker. He gets seven yards on the game. As you see them just pounding the rock on us. And Shane Tucker, again, a 12-yard carry this time. We just are not stopping them. Right now, they decide to mix it up and put the ball in the air. Also, grab him. He throws the ball. It's complete to Reggie Wadley for a seven-yard game. But that does cause a fourth and goal. So they do decide to just kick the field goal and, and go for the tie. It was just tied the game at 24 all in the third quarter right now. Thunderheart has the ball. They pitch the ball to Kevin Grooms, and he gets laid out. And Marshall Thunderheart will go three and out and get the ball right back to the Blue Raiders, who, of course, put the ball right back on the ground for their ground attack in the second half. I don't know what their coach said at halftime, but apparently we just get the ball on the ground or we just going to man up and just, out, just be more physical than Marshall. As you can see, it's been working at this point for them. They do throw the ball right here to Grice Wood for a first down as a gain of eight. But six minutes left in the game. MTSU, they come out with a screen. He goes to Jeremiah Bryson. He gets a block, and he gets hit, hard hit. But that's a 14-yard game for them. Here they come now. They're throwing the ball, and he is wide open. Reggie Wadley, the run set up the pass perfectly as he was wide open. There was no safety in sight. And that takes the lead away, or gives them the lead, what should I say, 31-24, to 24, with five minutes to go into the fourth quarter. Third and ten for the Thunder. I heard at this point we're trying to make a play, but Cato gets brought down on the sack. It's something we did not need. We did not need three and out right there. MTSU gets the ball in very good field position. And right here, they get the ball. Four or five yard game, third and five. We're trying to get off the field, but we do sack Austin Grammer, which does get them out of field goal range. That sack was crucial and does force them to punt the ball. And look at this punt. You can't ask for a better punt as they just got us at the one yard line. So here we go, trying to get out of our own end zone. First run would go for nothing. Kevin Grooms gets the ball again. This time he only gets two. This is now third and eight. With two minutes to go, we need something to happen. We hand the ball from the triple option to Stephon Grace. He goes down for a four, which forces a fourth and four. At this point, we can't give them back the ball. We do decide to go for it on fourth down with the redox. We hand the ball off to Kevin Groups. He cuts back, and he finds room to run for a 12-yard run, which keeps the drive alive. Now a minute and 26 seconds left. We need to make a play down seven. Kato comes back with the halfback screen, and look at all this space he has to go. Kevin Grooms is going to go, and our lineman does not block right there as he gets shoved out. Here we go. We're trying to keep something going on. Rakeem Kato, he goes. He does slide after a seven-yard run. After a no-huddle hurry up, we do roll out, and we throw the ball to Eric Fernapo. He's been very quiet this game, but he does get the four-yard catch and gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Now we... Later on in the drive, we're trying to make something happen. Only 40 seconds left. Rakeem Kato runs a nice play. He runs out of bounds as he gets to about the 28-yard line. Gain of 14, 41 seconds left. We're trying to get something. We need something bad. Here we go. He throws the ball off to Kevin Grooms, and Kevin Grooms makes the cut up the field, and he has some room to run. He gets out of bounds after a 16-yard gain down to the 13-yard line. And here we go. 30 seconds left. Kato, he's rolling out. He sees nobody. He smartly gets rid of the ball. He does not force it. He gets rid of the ball, which forces a second and ten. We go with the QB read. He has a little bit of room. He slides as he does not want to force another fumble. We do use one of our timeouts. We only have one left remaining. Here comes the wishbone triple option. They give the ball to Kevin Grove, and he gets tackled short. We use our final timeout. Now fourth and inch. This is the game. We hand it to Kevin Grooms. And what does he do? He gets in the end zone for his third touchdown of the game. 15th on the season. I feel like we had momentum. So Coastal has decided to go for two and go for the win. And that gets shut down as they shut us down. And we do not convert. We go for the onside kick. 
a poor onside kick, which is just clearly recovered by MTSU, and that finishes off the game right there. The Thunder and Herd off a valid comeback attempt do not complete it, and they do fall to 4-3 and three on the year as the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders do advance 2-3-5. and five. We are now 2-1 and one in the conference, and next week we will be taking on Southern Mississippi as we need, to, we need another win. We need to win this um, Conference USA. I, I, I don't want to lose two games in a row. We probably should have won that game, but turnovers once again killed us. But um, next episode will probably be out, honestly. I'm trying to have this next episode out by tomorrow. So, um, by the time you guys see this video, it will probably be Monday. So look for um, episode 9 to either be out on Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest. I need some catching up to do. So um, as always, see y'all next time. Peace.